Okay, now it does have a factory locking gas cap, and you do need, it is the same key as the trunk, to take the gas cap off. And it goes back on there like that. That is the same key as the trunk key. Okay, this is after our little run. I'll uh, open up the engine compartment here. Never mind the bird poop. That's what happens when you have trees around your house. Still pretty good running 140. I got about 40 or 50,000 miles on it since the rebuild. The air conditioning. I think will work. I'm going to put a belt on it in the next couple of days. I repaired a line and I'm going to charge it. You can see a dipstick too. There's no blow by. Smooth running 140. 66 style condenser. Still a very nice running car. Has the original exhaust, the original 140s. the sheepskins if, if you want them. They've been on the seat since I restored the car. We're going to bring the top up right now. You see the top switch. Down is down, up is up. So we're going to move the switch up. Here comes the top. nice. Latches are correct. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give me a call. 928-202-8654. Be glad to answer any questions you have. Transmission does have a slight well, I'm going to call it a glitch going into third. Every now and then, it'll grind a little bit. But if you clutch it just right, it, it's smooth. So it's an intermittent problem. But I do want to mention it. It does have the uh, factory GM floor mat, which is correct for Corvair. In pretty good shape still. This is a continuation of the 66 Corsa convertible. I wanted to show you a picture of the rockers, uh, general condition of them. Of course, the car was restored about 19 years ago. There is no significant rust in any of the body panels. Uh, when I rest restored the car 20 years ago, I started with a very rust-free Arizona shell. The car was originally beige with a beige interior. I repainted it and of course replaced all of these body panels 19 years ago. You can see that the fit is very nice. There are no rips or tears in any of the door panels. The rocker panels are in excellent condition and this is a very very bad area for late model convertibles to rust out. Here's a shot of the dash, AM FM radio, tally column, here's the other door panel, here's the back seat, here's the front seat. All of these seats are in excellent condition. There are no rips, tears, any type of deformation in any of them. Very nice condition. Door panels, the quarter panel, door panels are in nice shape. Seat belts are in excellent shape. The metal is in excellent shape. There is a minor break in one of the rear rear brake or rear uh, lice, um, safety belts. Here's a section of the trunk. You'll notice that there is some rust at the very bottom. And I'll show you a picture of it right there. 
So there is some water that sat in there for an extended period of time. This vehicle has always been garaged. That rust was there when I restored the car 19 years ago. There was a brief shot of another one of the accessories that this car has. It has a lot of bells and whistles. It does have a truck trunk interior light. There is a section of the, all of the body seals have been replaced. All are in very good condition. No rust whatsoever other than at the bottom of that trunk. Here's a picture of the boot. The boot does fit. It is included with the sale of the car. Here is a sign that I had created for when I showed the car. It does list some of the factory options. Here are the condition of the front chrome section. You'll see all of the chrome is in very nice condition. No major pits, no major scuffs. Everything is in very nice condition. Here is an area where I need to reinstall two clips on the bottom section of the windshield trim. It's a little loose in that area right there. But as you can see, everything fits pretty tight. There's no major gaps. Here's another section, another picture of the rocker area on the left-hand side. As you can see, no bubbling, no rust, very nice condition. This is a very nice Arizona car. It will make somebody a very, very nice driver. And as you can see along here, there's no bubbles, no rust coming through structural integrity of the car is very nice. This car is a driver. It is not a show car. I have been enjoying the car for the last 19 years. Here's a shot of the telescopic steering column, steering wheel, no cracks whatsoever in any of the plastic on the tele wheel. There's the knob, horn button, and a shot of the air conditioning outlet, no cracks and the factory AM FM radio which works good. There's a picture of the left side of the dash. There is a small very minor tear in the back section of one of the seats. The uh, seat belt that I just showed you does have a minor about uh, dime sized chunk out of the plastic. Here are the visors. Here again, they're in beautiful condition. They were redone 19 years ago. I have kept this vehicle indoors. It's never been stored outside. There's the remote mirror knob. There's a section of the left door panel. As you can see here again, excellent fit, excellent finish. Very nice, no rips, no tears. There's the uh, remote mirror. All the chrome, all the handles, no pits. Very nice. All of the chrome surfaces are very nice. There is some minor de decoloration in the armrest chrome. Here is the remote mirror. It is a 64-65 style, so it may not be correct for the car, but I think it looks nice on there. Here are the original factory Corsa wheel covers. I'd like to continue here uh, describing the car as best I can and I should mention that if you have any questions about this car please give me a call at 928-202-8654. Here we're looking at the deck lid. There is some minor paint damage on the left corner of the rear deck lid. There is also a wedding band missing off the right inner backup light bezel and lens. Here's the wheel well on the left side. You can see it's very nice. Wheel cover, original course of wheel cover. It's got uh, white wall tires, 13 inch. No pits whatsoever on any of the handles. It is an air conditioned car. The air conditioning does work. It does have soft ray glass. You'll see right there it says soft ray. Yeah, it's very hard to find soft ray glass for convertibles. Corsa emblem, of course all of the Bright work is in very good condition. There are some minor blems in the paint, 
Like I mentioned, the car has been restored 19 years ago. I have driven the car approximately 40, 50,000 miles and enjoyed every single mile. Here's a big picture of the top bow area with the latches. The latches have no rust or pits on the actual bright work. Here's a section of the rear back seat. As you can see all the interior panels are in very good condition. Soft ray glass, quarter panel, quarter window glass, a soft ray. And here we have the gas filler area. It does take the trunk key to open the filler or the gas cap. There is a picture of the left front wheel well trim in very good condition. No rust. Here again, here's the wheel cover. The, in, the wheel cover inserts are what I would call very nice drivers. They're not show quality. Would also like to make a statement, this is not a show car. I am not describing it as a show car. It does have minor defects to it. If you want a show car, this is not the car for you. If you want something you can take to car shows and drive and enjoy, this is your car. Here is the body plate. This is not a factory air car. I put the factory air on this vehicle. I used all original components and I restored the car when I ran my Corvair shop approximately 15 years ago. There's another option. There's the red rear deck lid light. Here's all the rubber ceiling surfaces. As you can notice they're in very good condition. Picture of the back seat. The backs of the front seats. That's the power top switch. Uh, we are bringing the top down now. It does have a power top. And before I bring it all the way down, I'm going to move the visors out of the way. And then bring it down all the rest of the way. The latches are correct. They fit correct. There is no wiggle or squeaking in the top. There's the original mat. Corvair only mat. Here's a view of the top. It will probably need a top in the next few years. It is a 19 year old top. So it does have 19 years worth of use. Windshield is in good condition. There is a minor tear right there in the top. Not excessive, not bad. All the bright works in good condition. Here I am actually opening the door, and since I'm dubbing, you will not be able to hear uh, me close the door, but all the doors open and close very nicely, and close very nicely. No wiggles, no rattling of the doors. This car was professionally restored by yours truly. Here I am opening the door. See the inside of the door, and I wish you could hear that noise because it's a very nice, tight-sounding door. See the seams, everything lines up very nicely. And here we are at the other side. Show you the back side of the door and the door closing very nicely. You can see the lines, everything fits very nicely. Follow the line straight down, fits nice. It's a good perpendicular line. Remote mirror. Very nice car, very nice driver. It is not a show car. I want to make sure everybody understands that.